let's get to continue what he did to us. Until he died. In the trial, the mother of the victim was forced to leave the room as details of her son's horrific murder were explained to the court. At the end of the proceedings, the judge stated, One thing is clear. You and you alone were responsible for this prolonged, vicious, and murderous attack on someone who thought of you as a friend. Mr. Aptazadek, if you have to go, go outside to the house on a long trip, make sure you have to lock the doors up front, back, and then the windows to close there immediately. And be sure you have to, uh, if you have to only have the family, so that you have to have many friends, just bring someone else in and have to be protecting yourself. So always is it always is it important to have to, you have to defend yourself. In 2013, an eight-year-old Louisiana boy in no, not this grandmother again. intentionally shot and killed 87-year-old Mary Smothers, his own grandmother. Oh wow, this is the second grandmothers? Huh. I would have been to the comes of my family trees. So with that uh, burner, to, I was in a likely interest and highly intelligent thought feelings uh, as it doing this purposely in comes but without any of the outcomes of false and circuit stem states. So that's that does um minors the little boy who, who turn out to be the act of the criminals the, like grand theft autos or the likely the, turns the homicide to the family the, turns it killing the, the grandmothers. The event happened only minutes after the boy started playing Grand Theft Auto. Authorities believe he intentionally shot Mrs. Smothers in the back of the head as she sat in her living room watching television. Are you freaking serious now? The young bad boy. You shot into your you shot into your own grandmother. You're this psychopath. Family and friends of the victim have stated that the victim and the juvenile had a normal, loving relationship and even shared the same bedroom. The sheriff's department this is terrible. released a statement saying investigators have learned that the juvenile suspect was playing Grand Theft Auto 4 just minutes before the homicide occurred. The boy, now living with his parents, won't face charges. Under Louisiana law, a child younger than 10 is exempt from criminal responsibility. You should have to go to jail to the bad boy. 18-year-old Devin Moore was actually arrested for Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, that's, that's a bad boy just did there. Auto, not the game, the real-life crime in 2000. Three. While being processed at the police station, he lunged at one of the officers and grabbed his 40 caliber Glock. He shot him and two other police officers in the head as he made his way out of the station. Then steel cruiser, caught and handcuffed. More uttered, life is a video game. You've got to die sometime. In the trial, his defense team tried to use the rock star game Grand Theft Auto Vice City as a scapegoat for the young man's violent acts. Ultimately, Devin was sentenced to death by lethal injection. Good. Devin Moore, I hope you rot in hell. And I hope you get executed soon. Never more. You are one of the unlikely total pin jerks. You are grounded. What about Daniel Petru from Brazil? Yeah. Daniel Petri. He did the killing the poor boy person. But he was just a minor. He only got three years in jail, which is bad, which is not enough justice for him. Yeah, 
14. An 11-year-old boy in the Philippines was stabbed to death by a 16-year-old male. Allegedly, the 11-year-old victim hacked it into the older I Dota 2 account. I Dota 2 account. According to the family and police investigations, the victim was taken to a construction site where he. So if it's, it, it, it has this uh, uh, cosplay to hack in, is there the victim account? So, so it would just go over there and say the purely insane to when they go off the manhunt and murder says, as a commit to the crimes of crimes of the and they they have to use the they have to use it illegally weapons and axe, baseball bats, hammer and uh cut a butcher knife, chainsaw, hacksaw and uh, illegally the weapons like a pistol, shotgun, machine gun, assault rifle and and he did, he would go out and had to met on birds, he would go to the decided that they won't have to had he wasn't going to he wasn't going to make them to the hell and and also he's about to do it. Look, he's about to do it. He was beat up by the suspect. His head was slammed on the walls repeatedly before being stabbed over 40 times. The 16-year-old suspect denied any contact with the victim. However, he was found with heavily blood-stained shorts and dropped... This is pure evil and this is insane psycho of blood leading up to his house. The stabbing was so horrific that the mother couldn't recognize her own son. 28-year-old Philadelphia man Tyrone Spellman beat his 17-month-old daughter to death in 2000. While playing the popular game Ghost Recon, his top. If a minor to have to the, the people who turn out the bad, and it's just who this who would have going to later then says to get the get these the blackmailing, the spamming, the death threat, send these for the this spewing the death threat, this death threat to the front of people that this. Who, who might have been half to the innocent people that originally, that who was a formerly had some criminal, turns out this, turn out this, but it has a child predators, and they went to God to therapies of what they had to do more so over the actions of what they, what they done with the wrong decisions, and more so to resolve that, and they went to later move on. Turn out that the, the bad people, who would go later to sing and blackmailing, spamming, then abusing, harassment, attacking, hate videos, the death threat, and all that stuff. So, with that, this is a person that feels it, to, if it makes the unfeeling, just makes these the, this like a, a society, depressing sadness and despair. And they would be going to self-inflicted throwing, hanging, and get get hit over by a vehicle, and then gunshot. So the death threat is prohibited suicide. The killing people is against the law. The death threat to probably suicide, the suicide online is is a legitimate uh, against the law from the U.S. And the cause is this is absolutely wrong, and that is all wrong. And the behind there is a complete monster, as as a trolls and turns me the serial killer, the serial the liars the, about the commit to the acts of the, like murders, doing so. And people who the later have to learn the lesson that they have to say is. Never hurt the children, never hurt the young boys or girls like that.